So here's what I'm replacing the stock muffler with. This is uh, Magnaflow part number 12771. Uh, it's a four inch inlet and outlet. I believe this is like uh, eight or nine inches in diameter, the main tube section here. And this is in fact a straight through design. Um, I believe the inside's uh, perforated and has some like fiberglass packing or something in there. Anyway, I came out here to just kind of mock it up and see how this dirty girl fits up in there. See, uh, see uh, what kind of mounting we're going to need. So let's go shove her up in there and see how she feels. Here's the bad mamma jamma. Let's see how she kind of nestles up in here. Oh yeah! That's going to be real, real nice. I got this 90 degree bend here. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not yet, but I figure I'll just weld that on here and uh, I don't know, maybe exit to the side or uh, as Mr. Helicool's helipad suggested, what's his name? I just, David Anderson, that's it. I think that's it. Hey, Dave. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, what he's, he's been suggesting, if you're looking at the comments, right, is the uh, original tube tailpipe has these indentations which forms a uh, you know a venturi right when air goes faster it creates a lower pressure and it sucks things in well that's what this this here suction line is for it sucks it kind of pre-filters the air going into the uh, air cleaner sucks out any dirt and shoots it out your exhaust so you know when the world ends or whatever and you know global warming or climate change or whatever just screws everything you know that's a nice feature to have when it gets really dusty so uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna try to maybe use that tailpipe or that that in section of it and maybe just do like a i don't know 45 degree bend here off the end and uh we'll, we'll see if she'll ride like that in order to keep the exhaust uh project on budget uh we're gonna reuse some parts here. So this is the old muffler, right? And it connected to the exhaust using V-band clamps. And well, I know for a fact that this fitting is a perfect fit for the V-band clamps that came off the truck. So I used me a little piece of helper paper to wrap around here and mark a eh, almost straight line all the way around. We're gonna get the angle grinder and just zip it right off. Let's do this. Let's see how straight I got it. Yeah, good enough. I think what we're gonna do is just test fit these pieces I cut off, the V-band pieces, and uh, just make sure everything's gonna work real good. So, I got out the muffler. Ba -da -da. So we've got our inlet piece, it's going to go over here, like so, oh yeah, look at how straight I cut that, I am really impressed with my, alright let's try the other side, our outlet pipe, it's almost like I designed this or something, that's just going to, that's going to weld up like gangbusters, that's going to be great. I think we're just about ready to weld this uh, this dirty girl here. We're gonna dial this baby in here and slap these these uh, old V bands on here and see how she does. All right, change of plan. Since I only get one chance on the $140 muffler, we're gonna set up the machine on the throwaway muffler here and see how she does. There, we're getting a little bit. So there you can see the first pass that I made and then uh, focus you fuck. There's the second pass I made with a little higher voltage, so we got a little more heat in it. 
and uh, you know if you kind of look from the side much much better penetration you can see how it started kind of cold and once it heated up um, it it was about perfect right here so um, I think we're good to go I've got the machine set up and we'll just uh, kind of tack this guy here on the end of this and maybe you know two or three different places and then uh, we'll go around and weld her all the way now the ideal situation would be to have some type of clamp or something like that to hold this in place so you can uh, weld it easily right or you know maybe you get an unsuspecting consistent to burn his little fingers off holding this here um, I'm gonna try and freestyle this solo we'll see how it goes one tack two tacks oh yeah that's cherry right there look at that that's just gorgeous it's like straightish I think she's gonna work real well minty oh and by the way I'm running the welder off not one, but two tiny extension cords in series. So if you see some shit catch on fire behind me, like yell out or something. All right, this one's not as straight, but you know what? I think it's gonna work. Let's. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's send it. Well, it's a shitty tack, but I think she'll hold. All right, let's just go around and do a few more. All right, well, I think this dirty girl's all tacked up. I'm going to go and brush these off a little bit, and we'll come back and we'll kind of fill in some of these gaps since I didn't want to prep it properly, and we'll do the rest of it. Remember, safety sandals. Oh, that's a big hole. Hopefully we can fix that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, shit. That's not good put holes in the pipe here uh, I are not a welder but I'm pretty good at faking it I bet I can fix it we'll see <laughs> now when you finish fixing all your happy little accidents on the the joint here it's probably gonna look like shit especially if you're using flux core mmm shitty so we're gonna go back with the old whirly gig there and see if we can't clean her up a little bit whirly gig time oh. If the open end of your generator is right behind where you're grinding, you might want to change direction so the sparks get thrown away from the open end of the generator. That's not good. I just finished using the, the cheater wheel clean up the uh, ow it's hot the welds and as you can see they're looking uh, pretty much OEM up to OEM standards now you know I wouldn't you know this is the kind of shit that like you know GM and Ferrari ship uh, to their customers so 
I think it's going to be just fine on the LMTV. Why I chose to finish this up at like 4 o'clock when it's really goddamn hot is beyond me, but well, at least it's done. Maybe we can throw it on the truck tonight and see how it sounds. That'll be rocking. Pro tip if you are like, you know, trying to start some like redneck YouTube shenanigans um, and you're doing some grinding, don't use your fucking cell phone to record it because the little metal sparks, they're going to adhere to your screen and ruin it and probably make you have to go get a new phone. So just consider that. Fucking wicked! <laughs> 